everybody and welcome to Simulate Gaming and welcome back to Greenwich Farm here on Farming Simulator 19. Uh, more odd jobs due to the... That's a lie. We've got a two odd jobs due today. One of which is going to take a couple of seconds. One of which is the one we're about to do right now. And then we've actually got to do two actual field tasks today. So we're finally heading back to the fields. Um, one of which is in this yard and the other one is at the other yard. So... I feel like I said, it's going to be quite a choppy episode again, but it needs to get done. So let's go ahead and first of all, our first task is to get these. So let's go ahead and activate our little, uh, what do you call this? Tractor? Tractor thing, whatever you want to call it. We're going to get these bales unloaded because we need this trailer for our second little odd job task, which is going to involve us driving to our sheep farm. If you guys saw the last episode, I did mention something about having to go to the sheep farm. This is why. Well, you're going to find out why. Um, or it might be the thumbnail. I don't know what the thumbnail is going to be just yet. Let's get that hooked off there. Not worried about putting these in neatly. They're going to get used pretty quick. Uh, so we actually have some cows now. If you guys have been not keeping up with the videos. In fact, you might be able to see them. Yeah, you can see them right behind here. Look, if I just go past here. There they are. All in that field. So yeah, the silage bales aren't going to last too long now. We do have some uh, forage in the clamp, which has not been covered yet. So we need to get that wrapped um, before it starts raining. We don't want it going all soggy. We want it nice and dry if we can. Right. Fix that little issue. Let's go ahead and collect some more. Should we just going to go ahead and reverse? Like I, I did say it's in the last video, but for those who didn't see that one, this tractor's pretty nippy. Like it's not a very uh, fast top speed, but it's quite quick off the line. Um, even in reverse, which is handy. But blitzing around the yard like we're doing right now. Right, let's pick these two up. They're on a bit better than the uh, last two. The last two, I think the issue was they weren't on properly. So they sort of fell off. Um, let's get this one plopped down here. Good enough to get another single one at some point, so I can put it next to the one that's on top of there. Is that off? Yes. Yes, it is. Only four more to go. Right, let's finish getting these off and we'll take out the chief and trailer down, shall we? Right, okay, ready. So let's go ahead and get the four turned off. We're going to jump into the class now. The trailer is now empty and ready to be used. We're going to collect the other tractor, basically. So I did mention in the last video that we have another tractor you guys haven't seen just yet. Um, in fact, that's a lie. You saw it on Halloween. Uh, and that was it. Um, got it out for Halloween and then we put it back and then didn't touch it again. So we're going to go ahead and get that out again. We're going to bring it down to here because I think it'll be a pretty good tractor to have for uh, mucking out the cows and stuff like that. Um, don't know how long we're going to keep using it for because the Ford's pretty handy and the Ford's, well, an overall better tractor. But basically, I want to try and take the John Deere up to the main yard. So that's why we're doing this. So we have some powerful tractors up in the main yard ready for uh, harvest season and stuff like that. Okay, that was strange. Let's go ahead and get the um, rear, well, the trailer lockers closed, as you guys can see on the side there. Cool. Right, so now we need to head to the sheep farm, which I don't really know how to get to from here. Let's have a look, quick look at the mini-map. Okay, we're going to go out of here and right. Okay, right. Let's get there, shall we? Let's get our beacon lights on. See you guys there. Okay, so we're almost there. Um, I feel any, well, I feel sorry for any car coming this direction, or the opposite direction, I should say, because there is no room to pull over in this road. Well, there is the sh uh, the farm. This is where one of our uh, hired staff lives. This farm's actually inactive, but the house is here. He lives here, keeps an eye on it for us. Uh, there's no machinery kept here apart from the thing that we're picking up. But that's going to change very, very soon. Stay tuned for that. We are looking to get in some sheep because they're pretty easy to look after. All right. Let's actually close the gate, speaking of security. And I can see the tractor already. Game. 
game. There we go, we got her in the end. It was locked. Um, right, we actually need to find a way to turn around here. Let's get the beacon lights off. Uh, oh, there's a lot of room around here, actually. I didn't realise. Perfect. We're going to go ahead and leave this parked up here. Then we've got uh, plenty of room to manoeuvre around in a second. Let's get the handbrake on. We'll leave the class running. Oh, I don't want that out. Let's put that back in our pocket. Let's get the rear ramps lowered down here. To get the clip out. Get the, the bar off and we're good to go. That should now lower on its own accord. Let's run over to our tractor. So I've not driven this thing for a long, long time. Well, Halloween, like I just said. Which, what was that real life? Almost a week ago. Over a week ago. Here it is. It's an old fence. As you can see, it's imported from Germany at some point. It's still on German number plates. Uh, but I don't believe it's ever been used on the road here, which is why we're bringing the uh, chieftain down. Let's go ahead and get started up. There we go. Big old steering wheel on this thing. Get it into forward because it's an old tractor. It is done by uh, a gear. Might get a little bit up. Like I said, this fit farm is uh, currently unused, but that's going to change very, very soon. I think we can afford a bit of grass to give us some cow, uh, to give us some sheep. I think there's a silage clump there as well, which is strange. Go up, you get all the way to the front. Stop. Um, let's get her into neutral, and we'll get it turned off. Cool. So she should be good to go now. Let's go ahead. Oh, hang on. Got to do the. Uh, thing. That side's done. Nice. And that side. Cool. Right, I'm not going to bother showing you the drive back because you guys just see me do it. And we're done already. So this is it. We're just all the like literally now we're going to drop this off at the dairy farm and that's it. We're done at the dairy farm there. Well, we're not done, but we're done with the odd jobs, I should say. Um, need to move around a bit better here. Right, yeah, so that's actually, uh, I'll meet you guys back at the dairy farm, we'll actually get on some proper field work today. Okay, so we are home, let's go ahead and get the beacon light turned off, I forgot we had the uh, sprinter van there. I somehow didn't see that when we took off. Um, right, I'm just going to go ahead and leave the cheating trailer out here for now. But like I said, we don't need it in this video, I've just brought it down for preparation. I forgot the full puzzle, we'll go reverse into here instead. Right, get it back into reverse. And that should do. Let's get the handbrake off. Let's get ourselves around here. Let's disconnect the electrics and the hydraulic brakes. Get it disconnected. She's now ready to be used. So, like I said, we're just going to be using that for like scraping up the cows and stuff like that. But today, we have to do some mowing. Yeah, we've not done mowing for at least two videos. Uh, this is the last field that we are mowing on a video. And it's very, very, very small. So, we're probably going to get it done in three or four passes. However, my mowers are over here. Which one do we need first? The front mower. Okay, let's get the front mower on. Yeah, this is a very, very, very small field. Um, in fact, I tell, kind of told a lie. We actually have two more fields. But one's going to be done in the live stream. But that's going to be turned into hay. Uh, but this one here is going the final addition to our silage clump. I know I've not plugged in the mower just yet. I'm going to go ahead and do that in a second. Get lifted up first of all. Yeah, we do all the cables together and stuff like that. Um, and the PTO shafts. Very tight, this yard. Not the tightest I've seen. Names well. Woo! Names well, something else. Alright, let's line ourselves up like so. That should do her. Get her hooked on. There's our cables, there's our PTO. Cables. PTO. Right. Let's get this one folded up. And the front one's already folded. Good. 
Like I said, we're not going anywhere today. The last field that we have to do is in the yard, and it, like I've said three times now, it's very, very small, so stay tuned if you don't want to see mowing, because it's going to take a couple of minutes. We do have another field to do, which is a different task. We're not doing uh, mowing on that one. Let's get this gate open. I like this little uh, field that we've got here. Nice little dirt path going up to it. What would just be wasted space has been, obviously been, at some point been converted into a dirt path to save the drive or whatever. It's very bumpy. It wasn't done by a professional, this conversion, but... Right, let's get that unfolded at the front now. Like I said, it's actually bigger than I thought, but it's not huge. Right, let's get the rear mower unfolded here. Position ourselves up a bit. Uh, let's get both of these on like so. Clash that more than enough power to deal with this today. Uh, make sure dips are off, four wheel drives are off, and we're good to go. Get a lower down. I'm gonna crack on with this. So I hope you guys are well. Um, this is actually the second video I've recorded in a row. So the, if you guys saw the last episode, thank you to everybody who watches all my videos, by the way. I appreciate it. Um, I mean, every single one. Um, this is literally carried on straight after. Like, I hit stop record, and then instantly started recording the second one. So, this is literally a carry-on. I did say in that version, uh, in that video, sorry, that version, in that video that it was a two-part video, we had a list of tasks to do. I might be kidding. There's a list on my left side monitor of stuff that we had to do today. I'm going to go around that, because I'm not quite sure what it is. But there's weeds growing out of it. Maybe it's ours. Move out of the way, birds. So yeah, um, we've had quite a lot of tasks to do today, which is why it's been split up into random odd jobs. So in the last vlog, if you missed that, we did some of our animals. We went to the store to pick up some chicken feed. And we also did a bit of leveling the uh, the clamp ready for this final load that we're going to be putting in today. Um, and then today we've got a couple more tasks to do, like I said. So let's do a little bit more of this. Okay, so we are pretty much finished now. Like I said, it was only a small field. You can see where we've been. Tried a new method that time, and I quite like it. I went through the middle instead, like I usually do with my uh, combine harvesters. Not sure if that's something that would benefit anyone in real life. But when you've got the single rear mower on, I quite like it. Um, I don't think I've missed too much. I know I just missed a tiny little bit, just literally as I said that. But apart from that, I think we're good. Yeah. Right, let's go ahead and... Oh, I turned the GoPro off. There we go. Let's get that folded up. We'll get that folded up. Grits are easy to get a wash. Unfortunately, our uh, pressure washer is at the other yard, so we might have to take the mowers up at some point. In fact, we do need to take the mowers up anyway, but that'll be for a different video. Right, let's get ourselves out of here. We need to go ahead and ted this at some point. We'll turn it, whatever you want to call it. But for today, we're done here. We need to get it back into the sprinter. Head back up to our main yard um, because we have a one final task to do, which uh, is a field I completely forgot we even owned, if I'm being honest. Um, let's take this back where we got it, shall we? Um, so yeah, we're going to jump into the sprinter, which is the right there. Drive back up to our main yard. Crack on with our final task. We're probably going to use the new Holland for this, seeing as the uh, class is here. 
Right, just in case Billy Bob's out doing a task, let's go ahead and get this uh, shed locked up. We have the fen out, but I'm not sure anyone particularly wants to steal that. Probably cost you more to get rid of it than it's worth. So yeah, I'm going to jump into the sprinter, and I'll see you guys back at the main yard. Oh, by the way, just in case you did miss the last video, let's go ahead and get these doors open a second. We do actually have some uh, cargo in this van, which I need to quickly strap up. We have some chicken feed. Um, I think that's all of them strapped in. There should be eight in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, cool. All right, let's get these taken back to the main yard. And we'll crack on. Right, okay, so we are home. I was going a little bit too fast then. Are we going to make this? Yes, good. Could use a Land Rover, but we had to collect a lot of bags. Well, not a lot, but we had 16 bags altogether, which wouldn't have fit into the, uh, the rear of the Land Rover. Um, so we're good. Now, I did forget to do this, speaking of chickens, in the last video. We're going to go ahead and do it now. Let's go to Animal Pens. Let's go to Chicken Coop. And there's the other one we put down, by the way. This is all the way over at the other farm, so we need to go all the way over. What is that? Is that orange thing, then? It's gone, though. I don't know if you guys saw that. Um, actually, it might have been the chicken coop. I just realised. All right, let's go ahead and rotate the camera around a second. Like, so we need to find a good place, but it's preferred, obviously, in the back garden of the house. Lots of room. It's pretty flat as well, so we shouldn't have to worry about um, landscaping after. Done. That's it. We now have two chicken coops. We do need to feed them. Um, and all you do is you put them... In fact, if you didn't see the last episode, let me just get one out and show you. Um, you literally just get, that was the wrong button simulate. You just get the, or well, one of the bags. Is it going to survive jumping over this? Yes. I wish that gate opened. And you just put it into the trough. If you can find the trigger. Oh, we don't have any, we don't have any, uh, chickens, do we? We want one rooster and we'll get the cheapest one. Oh, we don't want that. We'll go for the second cheapest one. Confirm. Can we get any more? Okay, how many? F how come we can get more sheep on this? Uh, more sheep, more chickens on this one than the other one. That's strange. There we go. You basically find a trigger, which is a bit hard to find, and you give them their feed, and it'll pop up in here somewhere. There we go. This, this one here, I'm assuming, is where we are now. Okay, so our final, final task of today. Why does that thing keep coming out? Uh, we could jump into the new home, which desperately needs a wash. I'm going to go ahead and clean all my vehicles uh, either at the start or the end of the next video because they're a bit dirty. That drill needs to clean. This new holland needs to clean. Mowers need to clean. There's a lot of stuff we need to clean. I'll probably do that at the end or the start of one of the, uh, the vlogs. All right, let's go ahead and pick this up. So we need to go down to our new-ish beet field uh, that we bought already planted, which is nice. We're not going to go ahead and... Uh, Field flip. Is that what it's called? Field flip? Turn field turnover? Where you buy the field, you take the crop out of it, then you sell it. We're not going to bother doing that. We're going to keep the field. And we deliberately bought that so we could put root crop into it. So we're going to get some of this spray down on it because I'm not sure what the previous owner did to the field. There's no records of it, so we're better to be safe than sorry. Can't hurt. All right, let's get the hoses and stuff connected. Well, that should do it. Okay, so the field is basically in our yard, or next to our yard, but unfortunately we have to go onto the road to get to it. Let's go ahead and turn our beacon light on. I don't think we've uh, used the New Holland for a couple of episodes. I can't remember the last time we used New Holland. If you guys remember, let me know in the comment section. I literally can't remember what we used it for. Right, so I just need to go down here, and then there's a left turn here. Got the car behind us, so I need to make sure he sees us indicating well before we turn in. Ah! He's going to beep at us, isn't he? Let's get the beacon lights, uh, sorry, the hazard lights on real quick. Let's get the gate open. Should have opened that before we came down, shouldn't we? So what I'd like to do one day is um, make a gate along here somewhere, I think. That'll be quite handy. Right, let's get our beacon lights off. We'll go ahead and get this sprayer unfolded here. So we haven't got too much fertilizer left. We might need to go and get some from the store at some point. With that unfold. Let's 
get it put down like so. Um, and we're good to go. Let's go ahead and get it turned on. Oh, right, someone did say why do I keep calling machines hers. I don't know if it's the same nationwide, but machinery is always referred to for some reason where I'm from as he, she. No idea why. Just is. We're going to try to keep it as straight as we can. So we are currently at 35 point, uh, 30, 359.7. It was 9 and it magically changed. So this is kind of roughly straight. We're not using GPS, but we can see the, with the compass that we are going 359. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and leave this here. Might have been a short one. I'm not sure. It depends how we edit it together. But thank you very much for joining me. If you guys did enjoy, please hit that thumbs up button. It really does mean a lot. Hit subscribe to see more for myself. I've been Simulate Gaming. I'll leave you with 20 seconds of this because that's when the uh, screen fades out. And I'll see you in the next one.